Hi, I'm Max. Welcome to The Leap. If you're new here, then you might be asking yourself, what is a leap? Well, a leap in nature is actually a herd of leopards. That is true. That is a real fact. But The Leap, however, is a TV show produced by us, the students, and for you, the students, that come out every Friday, except for this Friday. It's coming today, which is a Thursday, and also next week, which is it's also going to be a Thursday when it comes up. But every second period, sometime in the week, a new episode of The Leap will come out. So for this first episode, I invite you guys to sit back, relax, get your popcorn, get your licorice, get your stromboli, and prepare for the show. Hi, I'm Lydia Bates. I'm a senior and I'm in the Madrigals Choir at East. Madrigals is the most advanced choir East. We do lots of different music. We like to sing in different languages. We're doing a song that's in like Spanish slash French, and we have one that's in Portuguese. We're also doing some gospel music, which is super fun. And I love just, I don't know, the variety of music that we get to do. It's so fun to have a class where I get to share a love of music with a whole bunch of peers. We definitely always laugh, have a good time, and maybe more than Mr. Mr. Bingham would like, but we learn our music, we just have a good time, and we have a really good bond. It's so fun. We get to hopefully go to Disneyland at the end of the year, and it'll be just like a nice little family vacation. I came into choir with a pretty basic understanding of music. I've always loved to sing, but I definitely want to learn more about musical music theory and sight reading, and just, I don't know, more about the theory of music. We really recommend doing choir, and if you are interested in Madrigals or any of the other choirs here at East, talk to Mr. Bingham, and I'm sure he'd love to have you. Hey, I'm Coach Page. I'm the head coach here at East for our cheerleading, and this year we're starting something brand new, and that's a competition cheerleading team. We are looking for people who are dedicated, who like teamwork, who are strong because we do a lot of stunting and tumbling, um, who like to learn new things and aren't scared of messing up and learning from their mistakes. Um, so if that sounds like you and you'd like to get stronger and you'd like to work with some other people at East to build our competition cheerleading team, please, please, please reach out to Coach Page, which is me, Coach Sandy, which is up on the third floor of East, and Coach K on the second floor. We would love to have you try out for our competition team. Um, tryouts will be either the end of November, beginning of December. We haven't quite decided on dates, so just keep your eyes out um, and listen out for announcements of when that's coming. I think the biggest thing is that we want people who are willing to try something new because competition cheerleading is different than any cheerleading that's happened at East in the past. And so we're looking for male, female, literally any gender to come out and to support our East Leopards and get involved with competition cheerleading. So see you soon. I'm here with Brayden, London. And uh, what do you think the score of the East Olympus football game is going to be? 40 to 7. 40 to 7. We're definitely going to crush them. Uh, have you ever had a perm? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm here with Spencer Bell. Ellen Wyatt. And what do you think the score of the East Olympus football game is going to be? Oh, that's a fantastic question. Um, I think East will win. I don't. I don't know much about a score, but I think East will win. <laughs> Good point. Uh, I think East will win, and the score will be 21 to 37. I'm here with... Isabel Hansen. <laughs> uh, what do you think the score of the East Olympus football game is going to be? Um, definitely 53-0 Olympus. <laughs> Mizuketo. How's the mess going to be this game? The mess is going to be great. They're going to cheer. They're going to bring excitement. They're going to cheer on our team. It's going to be great. We just need to make sure we're not throwing anything and we're cheering for our team and doing it properly. All right, guys, be loud, be safe.
Lars, what did you do to prepare for a race? Uh, work hard, train hard, get up early in the morning. It's all day, every day. It's all day, every day. What did you do to prepare for a race? Um, attack other teams. <laughs> the first thing you gotta do to prepare for a race no, is like, right. it's take a poop, drop some weight, and then you're ready. That's it. My entire world is like, we need to warm up. We have 30 minutes. I can, bro. Did you already warm up? No. I take off my pants. Jog. It's uh, standard cross country. Um, there is no shame. Uh, you will you will what drop a deuce while other people are splashing like crazy and spray painting the walls of a porta potty. I have five minutes to the race. <laughs> <laughs> We're close to the front, but only because we mutinied a little bit. Hey, can we let varsity boys go to the front of the line? Yeah, which is not very fun. Yeah, it, it is not a place if you're shy. It's standard procedure here, and so the guys go off in the distance and soccer stretch, and. <laughs> Everybody else just kind of endures the pain and the suffering. And that's why we love cross country. Uh -oh. I think I missed the race. Oh, you did? Yeah. Dude, I was in there for so long. There's a surprise in there for the next person, though. <laughs>